9702 October November 2021 paper 1 variant 3 and the question number is 7 a stone is thrown horizontally off a cliff and then lands in the sea a resistance is negligible which statement about the stone's motion is not correct so we have to be very careful whenever it says not correct sometime it make a uh, we create a confusion to the student right so please mark is important not correct so if a body of if a stone is thrown so it is thrown horizontally like this so the velocity is initially is the horizontal component of the velocity and there is no vertical component of the velocity and and after certain time it will drawn into the c okay so the velocity component is uh, f horizontal component of the velocity is always constant throughout the journey so the range will be equals to the horizontal component of the velocity times t and t is the time of the journey so it says the final displacement of the stone depends upon the initial horizontal velocity very true Uh, if you have the more horizontal component of the velocity if the velocity increases the range is increases so a is logically correct so the and we have we need to uh, mark the incorrect option so this is a wrong answer wrong option the stone travels with a uh, with a constant horizontal component of the velocity until it hits the water throughout the journey in a projectile motion horizontal component is always constant so it is very true the stone travels with an increasing vertical component of the velocity again is it true because at the time of flight when the stone is thrown horizontally there will be no vertical component of the velocity but after the time when the gravity start acting on it then vertical component of the velocity initially is zero then it is increases and at the end before it hits the sea the velocity com uh, vertical component of the velocity is greater so that means that stone travels with an in uh, increasing vertical component of the velocity is true sure. now the time taken option d the time taken for the stone to hit the surface of the water depends on its initial horizontal velocity so if we see the uh, equation range is equals bx means the horizontal component of the velocity into t so t will be equals speed into speed over velocity so if the velocity increases time decreases okay so it is not depending on that right if the time if the velocity increases time decreases it's not directly proportional so the time taken for the stone to hit the surface of the water depends on its initial horizontal velocity is incorrect so it is the correct option 